Hi friends, this is good today. Let's pray. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus, thank you that you are with us. Thank you for your word. Would you touch our hearts now? Would you make our hearts and our minds well and alive in you? In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's read. We're at the end of chapter 5, verse 35. While he was still speaking, there came from the ruler's house some who said, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the ruler of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. And he allowed no one to follow him except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. They came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and Jesus saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. And when he had entered, he said to them, Why are you making a commotion and weeping? The child is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. And immediately the girl got up and began walking, for she was 12 years of age, and they were immediately overcome with amazement. And he strictly charged them that no one should know this, and told them to give her something to eat. Wow. Okay, I don't know. This is touching my heart today. Uh, what a beautiful, beautiful story. I'm so glad that we have the Bible. Uh, we can learn more about who Jesus is. All right, so yesterday we talked about, or you know, we were introduced to Jairus, this ruler of the synagogue. And I ended, I did write in yesterday or at the end of yesterday's lesson, I asked, okay, what about Jairus and his little daughter? What is Jairus thinking at this time? Wouldn't he be frustrated by the crowd and this woman who had sought healing from Jesus? And so, you know, now it's as if Mark is he's the cameraman and he switches the camera back over to Jairus and we get to see what is going on. So some people come, what happened? Some people come from Jairus's home and they just say, "Your look, your daughter is dead. I thought this was interesting. Why trouble the teacher any further? I kind of got stuck there a little bit. What's something we learn about who Jesus is? He is a teacher. Here's teacher with a capital T. And a teacher, we need to remember, is a person who instructs others. And uh, we see this term used in John chapter 11, verse 28. Here's another piece of scripture where we see, where we see Jesus. Uh, he, he says, look, someone is sleeping. Our friend Lazarus is sleeping. And uh, this is a story of Mary and Martha. And Martha uh, says this, when, when she had said this, she went away and called her sister Mary, saying in private, the teacher, capital T, is here and is calling for you. So here is an instructive moment. I don't think that there is any coincidence that Mark refers to Jesus as teacher here. He keeps certain people with him uh, to see exactly what happens. Uh, who does he take with him? He, 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 now remember, we have to remember, he has this great crowd of people around him, right? He's being squashed by people. But uh, he, he says, no, look, you all stay back. And he only allows Jairus and Peter, James, and John to follow him. All right. So, uh, but let's, let's pan back or let's take the camera back to Jairus just for a minute, because I always think it's good to kind of get in the skin of some of these characters. When, when Jairus hears this comment, uh, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? What is that going to do? What is that going to do? What would that do to me? That would put a hint, more than a hint of doubt 
in my mind, right? Uh, my, my, my belief, like Jairus, he had, he, he went to Jesus. He came to Jesus in faith, believing that Jesus could heal his daughter. Looking back yesterday, verse 23, my little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and alive. Uh, so in this moment, what, what would he, what would he feel? He would be afraid. And friends, Jesus sees it. Jesus knows it. And what does Jesus say to him? He says, verse 36, do not fear, only believe. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. Do not be anxious about this situation. Only believe. Only means and nothing more and nothing more than believe. Believe, trust, have faith. And I love this about Jesus. I mean, Jesus knows our fears, friends. He speaks comfort. He speaks encouragement. And even this passage, this story, it ought to comfort and encourage our hearts, comfort and encourage our faith today. Here is Jesus's grace to Jairus. Here is Jesus's grace to us that we might read and enjoy this story and enjoy knowing him. All right, so we said Jesus allows no one to follow him except Peter, James, and John, and, uh, and he and uh, Jairus and these three disciples arrive to the house. What do they find? They find this huge commotion. I mean, Jesus uses this word commotion twice. There's clamor. There's a bunch of noise. There's weeping and wailing uh, loudly, loudly. And Jesus goes in and he says to all of these people who are making such a fuss and a commotion, he says, look, she is not dead. She is sleeping. And I, I did ask, why does he say this? Now, friends, if we go back to John and the story of Lazarus, he specific, Lazarus, he specifically says this, John 11, uh, 40, or no, John 11, 11, he says, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. Okay, so a little bit of tongue in cheek here, maybe. And he puts all of these people out of the house. Why? I think he, he's putting all the unbelievers out of the house. And he keeps those with him who have faith and believe. And he allows them to go into this little girl's room or go to where she is. And I don't know, it touches my heart, friends, that he takes her by hand here. We saw yesterday, there was something about touch, right? Touch was all over the passage. And again here, he takes her by the hand. And remember, Jairus had come to Jesus saying, come lay your hand on my daughter. And uh, he, he touches her, he holds her by the hand, and he speaks to her. Little girl, I say to you, arise, arise. And what happens? Immediately she gets up. And not only does she get up, she walks. Uh, she's not weak. She gets up. She's alive. She's alive. Jesus does exactly what Jairus had asked him to do. Come, lay hands on my daughter. You can make her well. You can make her, you can give her life. And that's what Jesus does. Ah, friends, it touches my heart. Those who are with Jesus, what does it say? They are immediately overcome with amazement. I guess that's where I am right now. I too am overcome with amazement to be utterly amazed, to be so amazed as to nearly lose one's mental composure. It's like poof, the mind is blown. The mind is blown. Oh, friends, I think the application is in black and white here. What does Jesus say? Do 
not fear, only believe. There's a piece of truth for us to put in the pocket of our heart and take with us to ponder for the rest of the day. Thanks for being here.